assessing article quality. In the previous video, I talked about how you could assess journal quality. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can assess article quality, so the quality of an article within a journal. So assume that you have found a journal that you, you think is respectable and, you, and you, you believe is worthy of inclusion in your literature review. How do you know that the individual article is any good? Here's a paper I did back in 2009 with some colleagues at the University of Victoria. And what I want to point you to is right at the bottom, you'll see that the total citations, this paper has been cited 109 times. The citation count helps you decide whether or not a paper is, is being well, well taken up. Um, now, what's a good citation count? It's really hard to say because it is also a factor of time. So this paper has been out there since 2009, has been cited 109 times, which I would say is okay. If this paper had only been cited twice, then I would probably put a little uh, less weight on it. But there's, been, there's papers that have been cited thousands and thousands of times. My PhD supervisor, Clay Holroyd, has a paper that's been cited over 4,000 times. Um, so generally, uh, again, this takes a little bit of experience, but if you see these numbers and they're very low, like below 25 times, especially if a paper is older, you might want to give it less weight than a paper that's been cited hundreds of times. So a key way to assess article quality is to look at the citation count. With that being said, you can also go back to impact factors. Generally speaking, if a paper is published in a high impact factor journal, you have to assume that the quality of the paper is decent. Now, this isn't always true. Uh, within academia, there's a bit of a mantra that if you have the right people on your author list for your paper, you can get into any journal. And just because an article is in Nature of Science doesn't mean it's a great piece of science. That might sound a bit of confusing, but there has definitely been any number of studies that were published in these very high-impact journals where people can't replicate the results. But in general, in general, the impact factor of a journal is a second piece of evidence that allows you to decide whether an article is of good quality or not.